Just like anybody else, my day starts at 5.40 in the morning. I get up, I make my coffee, set up for work. My schedule is pretty flexible, which makes things difficult when I already don't like going into work. Not very motivated to do my job, but uh, if I don't go to work, I don't get paid. It's not a requirement to dress nice, but uh, attention is a good thing just due to the nature of my job. My name is Dane Schofield and I'm a YouTuber. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. About the first two years I tried doing a gaming channel. Um, but money was kind of tight so I couldn't afford new games. A lot of people would leave comments, just rip me apart about how I wasn't very entertaining. So I just died and now I have to respawn. My wife suggested that I try to corner a market on YouTube that hasn't really been touched before. Uh, find a niche. And I did. You may know me as the makeup man. For the past eight years, I've been the number one male beauty guru on YouTube. December marks my eight year anniversary. Hey guys, it's Makeup Monday and today we're doing a full glam and this is something that you're gonna wanna do if your CEO is coming in for an all hands. Something to really make you stand out. Um, I woke up with a few blemishes so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of extra cover up on that but um, stay tuned to see all my secrets on getting attention. I like to think I'm a pretty normal guy. I have hair on my head, under my arms and my nose, a little bit on my chest. You know, I put my pants on uh, one pair at a time, so. Unlike normal people though, my dead end job is YouTube. I, frankly, I hate my job. I mean, I look like a clown. My wife is no more excited about it than I am. Hey, going out with the girls tonight. Okay, love, when are you coming back? When we're done. Okay, love you. Bye. I don't think she heard me. Okay, enough for the other eye. I've hit a uh, ceiling career-wise. Um, I thought about doing live streaming, but considering I break down multiple times during a video, I don't think that's really for me. Thanks, fine. Sorry, I'm just kind of... My wife goes out all the time when I'm working. Just kind of leaves me here, so... Can I have a moment? social media platform isn't really the place for a guy who doesn't enjoy being social. Sorry about that guys, I just I got really hungry, I took a quick spicy ramen break. After I have an episode, I'll tell my audience that I just ate some spicy ramen. I'm sure they know it's a lie, but I don't really care at this point. All right, and that is it. So this is definitely gonna get you attention at your next all hands. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Dane Schofield. I'm going for the promotion. This looks great. All right, see you guys tomorrow. By the time I'm done with the video, it's pretty late and I don't really have any time to enjoy the rest of my day.
I finally reached um, 100 subscribers on November 1st of 2019. When I first got the notification, I was pretty excited about it, to be honest, but um, I realized I was still a ways away from making money on YouTube. So the financial stress just uh, came right back to me. Life after 100 subscribers hasn't really changed too much. My wife's family still hates me. My wife doesn't like to wear a ring out because uh, she says she's afraid she's gonna lose it. So. Nobody recognizes me except for the kids down the street, but they just make fun of me. I'm embarrassed to show my face. It's hard to be optimistic. I'm an entrepreneur, and I wouldn't consider myself unsuccessful, but I would consider myself on unemployment. You know, I avoided my dreams because I was afraid of the risk, and my lifestyle has just become so comfortable that I can't really turn back now. I've got a wife who relies on me. Yeah, I, uh, I think to myself often what I could have been if I didn't drop out of high school. I think that's probably my biggest regret because I was on track to be an accountant just like my dad. I ended up giving up on myself and he gave up on me too and since I've taken up YouTube he's lost a lot of respect for me. He still emails me every once in a while but it's never very encouraging. The whole reason I agreed to do this was because I really hope that this inspires people to um, begin on their dreams before it's too late. And if there are any parents out there, then I would encourage you to support your children who, in their wildest dreams, may aspire to occupy a cubicle. Uh, Jim Carrey said once that uh, you can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. So I'm not the only one? No, I'm number one. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so I guess I'm number two then. What? Eight years. <laughs> Well, back to the drawing board.